What is up guys, this is Tito back with another video on the Redmi Note 7 Pro and today in this video I'm going to be showing you the latest Octavio OS on this device. And this is the Octavio OS version 1.5 official build based on Android 11 as you can see. And here we have the download link and stuff. And as you can see there are two separate builds, one says gapps and one says vanilla. So that means one build is including gapps and one build does not include gapps. So yeah, I have flashed the included gapps version 1. And let me actually show you this is the 12th January 2021 build by the way and in the Android version section this is how it looks like looks very very cool in my opinion and as you are noticing this UI looks very cool and on top it shows 1.5 Octavio OS and we have the resolution and stuff and the device specs then on the bottom we have the maintainer's name as karthik.lal and this is for the Redmi Note 7 Pro device of course and the security patch is latest of January 5th 2021 and you can see the stock kernel here is the Ryzen kernel, not Perf G or something like that. So this is a custom Ryzen kernel based ROM. And as you can see, we have the Android version, of course, as Android 11. If Even if I tap on it, it doesn't show that Android 11's doodle kind of thing. Now, let me jump into the settings panel. This is how it looks like. The settings panel looks very cool and very different from other ROMs, as you are noticing. It has this kind of partitions over here. And you can just notice how cool the settings panel looks like. In the system panel, things get really, really interesting because let me actually show you. We have this violet parts option. And from here, we have the display calibration. And as you can see, it shows Ryzen over there. And we have this red, blue, green, etc. colors kind of changing option. Then you can also change saturation, value, contrast, hue, etc. options. SLinux mode is enforcing by default. And we have the FPS overlay too. So if you want the FPS info showing up on the top left, as you can see right now, it is showing up over there. So FPS info does show up over there. And we have enable fast charging option. Then we have this clear speaker option. This is a very cool option. Let me actually demonstrate. If you have media volume a little bit up, I'll have it. So as you just like heard, this is the kind of sound it makes and it clears the speakers, I guess a little bit if your speakers are dusty or something so yeah this is a very cool like kind of feature to have in the ui itself but once you turn this clear speaker thing on it goes on for 30 seconds so yeah you have to be prepared for that there is the me sound enhancer and with that you can have it on youth edition or something and the me audio direct is actually working fine there is also choosing preset option so yeah me audio direct Via the headphone jack, I would say the sound quality is great. And we also have this vibration strength and the brightness kind of thing of the torch. So if I have it on 255 right now, if I enable the torch, this is how bright it is as you are noticing. And right now, let me actually disable the torch, put the volume to one. And right now, if you're noticing, the torch is way less harsh, I would say. The torch is barely visible the light is barely visible so yeah if you want to control the torch brightness you can customize it as you like it let me go back and from here we do not have any system updater though there is the gesture settings from there we have this system navigation gestures and if you go into the settings you will have a lot of customizations like the amount of screen height to be used as like back gesture and there is the gesture bar length size so i have increased that and right now as you can see the gesture bar is quite long and we have this haptic feedback, back gesture animation and stuff. Let me go back. We have the two entry button navigations too. And we have the power menu option. And there is no advanced reboot here. But let me actually show you if you go into the power menu. This is how it looks like. We have this Google Home kind of like quick controls. And we have if you tap restart, we have the advanced reboot option. From where you can directly reboot to recovery or fast boot from here as you can see. So yeah, this is very cool. And there is a quickly open camera option. If you want that, I have disabled that. And on the GApps build, there is the default keyboard as Google keyboard. Now, let me actually show you the home screen. This is how it looks like. The default wallpaper looks very, very cool in my opinion. And if you go to the left side of the home screen, there is the Google Now cards, but it is loading for some reason. Here we have the stock launcher as the pixel launcher, I guess. Let me actually show you. So as you can see, the default launcher here is the pixel launcher. So you should be pretty familiar with this and you can also disable the suggestions if you want to from here. 
but let me actually show you there is no double tap to sleep anywhere on the home screen but there is double tap to sleep on the status bar you do not need to worry about that yes that's there and the widgets and stuff on the home screen are working super fine no issues with that and swiping down gets you to the notification panel swiping up gets you to the home drawer of course let me show you the stock camera now this is a really cool google camera here and let me actually show you this works flawlessly on the device and this is present by default you do not need to install a separate google camera here because this pretty much is a very cool google camera as you can see you can zoom it in a little bit with 1x 2x option that is very cool and also night sight should be working fine here let me actually take a quick picture so that i can show you guys and this is how the picture came out to be it looks very very cool in my opinion and the pictures coming out with this google camera is great and i'm just glad that they provided this kind of google camera by default here and also in the video option as you can see there is the like 1x 2x mode and there is the time lapse slow motion i am not really sure okay the slow motion is not working in the video section four stops let me check the time lapse yes the time lapse should be working fine but the slow motion is not working i guess and there is the like video stabilization you can have cinematic pan active kind of thing and the locked option so yeah a lot of options are there for the video stabilization and by the way you can choose the like frame rate up to 60 fps and there is the 4k or full hd option as you are noticing so that's great i'm not really sure if 4k 60 fps will work but yes the option is there it may or may not work and as you can see you can of course shoot fhd 60 fps pretty sure so i like the default google camera here right now let me show you the quick settings panel this is how it looks like looks very cool in my opinion and different from other custom roms again and here we have the brightness sliding bar over here looks very cool when you increase or decrease the brightness with this slider and here is how again the quick settings panel looks like you can toggle add multiple toggles from here as you can see we have this weather and stuff screenshot airplane mode and we have these focus mode live caption etc then fps info also you can add from here let me actually show you i have added a couple of them and here we have this like android 11's default screen recorder with that you can record the device audio and the microphone audio at the same time with the screen recorder and here we have the heads up disabling option and again the fps overlay which i just showed from system it is there again in the quick settings panel and on top it shows the time a little bit bold and we have the date and stuff so yeah looks cool in my opinion now in the settings panel let me show you i don't have a sim card in it so i can't show you the wi-fi calling and stuff but they should be working fine in the battery settings this looks very cool in my opinion the battery icon looks very very smart and cool and it is different again from other roms the battery icon again looks very different we have the battery saver mode and battery manager smart charging and if you scroll down you get the last full charge the screen on time then the design battery capacity the current battery capacity and the charging cycles also shows up and we have the battery temperature on the bottom and if you want to see the full usage you tap on the battery and it shows the like full usage and i would say the battery life should be good enough you can get six to seven hours of screen on time on this rom and 18 watt fast charging also works fine here in the display settings we have the brightness level night light styles and wallpapers of course and by the way in terms of the wallpapers let me actually show you this is the default wallpaper that you get and you get the live wallpapers here as you are noticing and you can customize between these many lock screen clocks these are lock screen clock presets actually so you can customize between these many and we have color set to boosted font size display size of course you can customize then from lock screen we have the wake screen for notification and stuff if you want that then double tap to wake is there and the pocket detection also you can enable and you can customize the full screen apps if you want to force some apps to full screen you can do that and again we have this clock style over here in the sound settings this is how it looks like and we have the volume steps and stuff then live caption do not disturb mode and the screenshot sound and stuff you can disable that's cool and here is how the volume panel looks like looks very cool in my opinion by default also you can change the this volume panel if you go into the customization section but this default volume panel looks very cool in my eyes let me go back we have the octavi lab and here is where you find all the customizations of this particular rom so first we have the system from here we have this octavi themes and here we have the accent color picker and as you can see there are a plethora of accent colors that you can choose from and even on the dark theme you can customize it there is the headline and body fonts and the icon shapes are there and icon backs are there the switch appearance you can change that too 
this is set to one plus by default i guess then we have the system wide animation options and you can change the whole ui animation from here i guess and we have the quick settings panel and from here you have the column and row number customization then new tint style option is there then vibrate on toggle touch data usage in quick setting header and quick setting clock position and stuff you can customize and we have the ambient display stuff and from here you have the show on always on like the edge lighting stuff and from here you have the screenshot type changing option so you can take a full screenshot or drag and select it from lock screen we have the fingerprint authentication fingerprint error vibration and the lock screen charging info too is there that's cool but let me tell you there is no option to always unlock with the fingerprint scanner of course because this has been disabled in the like december 2020 or january 2021 security patch as far as i remember and we have the show on lock screen option this is the weather kind of stuff and this is very weird in my opinion that these three options are present that i have been noticing this fod icon picker this is supposed to be there on the devices which has the fingerprint scanner on the display so yeah like under the display like k20 pro but yes this features are there of course they won't be working the screen of fingerprint also there then there is the disable night light when showing fod so these options are just like universally there they won't work on the redmi note 7 pro at least then we have the volume button customization and here we have the volume panel changing option as you can see there is the stock the one i showed and the aosp compact audio and tiled options are also there and we have the gestures here we have the screen of power button toggle torch then we have the swipe to take screenshot and the double tap to sleep on the status bar and lock screen both let me actually show you here as you can see let me actually show you the fingerprint scanner speed right now as you can see the fingerprint scanner works flawlessly here no issues the fingerprint scanner is very very fast and smooth experience here so no issues that i could find with the fingerprint scanner at least and by the way here is the swipe to take screenshot you can share them edit them or delete them from here then we have the power menu customization from here you can enable the screenshot screen record airplane mode settings and stuff like that let me go back we have the navigation bar customization you can choose it from here too and in the status bar section we have the status bar items and headset bluetooth etc icons of course you can enable clock and date customization is there you can choose the clock into like okay so center is of no use because this has a notch over there and we have the am pm style you can set that and even date we can enable that so that is cool and let me go back we have the configure status bar battery kind of stuff so from here you can enable the battery percentage and the battery icon style you can change it to icon portrait dotted circle or filled circle and stuff then quick setting battery percentage you can enable that and you have the custom charging symbol near battery so you can like change it if you want to then we have the battery percentage when charging and stuff and then we have the notification options and from here you can disable the heads up option and the dialer heads up you can enable it or disable it and notification headers are there and there is the center notification headers for something and the notification sound let me scroll down we have the show 4g instead of lte data disabled icon and the volte icon is there and there is also this view wi-fi icon so you can change between these many view wi-fi icons and these many volte icons so that is cool and here in the misc settings we have the gaming mode and then we have the wake up on charge disabling option and then we have the charging animation ambient display brightness you can customize that too and double tap to wake is working fine now the whole ui performance i would say has been great i'm not going to show you the ram management and stuff but i feel this is pretty great of uh, like experience over here but i did face one time it rebooted the device randomly i was turning on the led like rgb remote app and i remember i was using it let me actually show you if i can okay so as you can see it happened again with this led rg remote app it freezes and restarts the device so in terms of the normal daily driving performance i would say this rom should be great but you if you are someone using the ir bluster i would say this rom does not like that so if you are using the ir bluster don't flash this rom i would say as of right now and if you are noticing the drm info it is still l1 at least on this rom and on the redmi note 7 pro but on the k20 pro i effed it up so that's a different story but here on the redmi note 7 pro i still have tr even for as l1 so that's cool and let me actually show you the saving it status does fail but it only fails with the cts profile match so that means it is happening on all the devices with the latest google services i guess but it should not be a worry about this because google pay and like other apps like banking apps you can set it up very easily it won't be a problem but only if you are testing 
with the safety net tester it will fail over here with the cts profile match right out of the box but yes google pay or any other banking app should be working fine here actually and if you want to see the benchmarks here are the benchmarks of this rom so thank you so much for watching this video guys give it a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe to the channel if you have not yet this is zero from kdn signing off for today i'll be catching you guys in the next one bye bye now